All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 26. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue adding a pair of two digit numbers. But this time, the, when we're adding the ones digits, we're gonna get a sum greater than 10. Now for parents and teachers, this old way, we would say, oh, and then you add and you have to carry the one. Uh, we are going to ultimately get to that point, but not in this lesson. We're not going to have students just follow a rule that they don't quite understand. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to teach kids how to get the answer using number sense based techniques. Uh, we're going to continue thinking about place value. We're going to continue thinking about decomposing a number into its component parts, its tens and its ones. And um, this is a stepping stone, a very important developmental stepping stone that's going to lead our students to that standard algorithm. So let's get started. So let's take a look at 19 plus 15, and we'll solve it in two different ways. One, where we're going to call it we're adding the tens first, and then the second time we're going to add the ones first, but there's going to be a twist on that. So let's start with adding the tens first. So we're going to decompose that 15 to be 10 and 5. Technically, I could have decomposed either, but I'm going to decompose uh, the 15 in this case. And then we're going to add the tens first. So that means we're going to add that 19 plus 10. And I'm going to record it right here, 19 plus 10. And of course, that gives us 29. And now we're going to take that 29, and we're going to add. Now we're supposed to add the 5, right? Because it says so right here, add in that remaining 5. So I'm going to add in the remaining 5. Now how am I going to do that? Well, I could just take 29 and add 5. I'm going to count on my fingers. I could hold up five fingers and say 29 and then go 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and I could get my answer of 34. Now, that's one way is by counting on the additional 5. But we'd like our students to be a little bit more sophisticated, so we want them to say, well, I have 29. I need one more to make 30 which means I'm going to decompose 5 to be 1 and 4. And so then I can add the 29 and the 1. That's where I get my 30, plus I'm going to add in my 4, and that's how I get 34. So ideally, this eventually, this step right here, this decomposition of 5, will be a mental step, a step that students do in their head. But right now I'm writing it down to be explicit so that you can see what I'm doing. So that's adding tens first. Now let's do the adding ones first. And, and there's a little twist compared to the previous videos. So we're going to look at that 19. And I'm going to say to myself, well, what do I need to complete the next 10? I need 1. So I'm going to decompose that 15 to be 1 and 14. So now... I'm going to add the 19 and the 1, 19 plus 1, that gives me, let's see, that gives me 20. And now I'm going to take the 20 and I'm going to add in the remaining 14 that I have sitting out there. So that's going to be 20 plus 14. Now, now some students can just jump straight to the answer, which is 34. Other students might need to decompose that 14 to be 10 and 4, in which case we might add the 20 plus the 10, that gives us 30, plus the remaining 4 to give us 34. Uh, again, this step might be, um, is kind of like optional, where we decompose that 14, because some students might be able to go straight from 20 plus 14 and jump straight to the answer. Two ideas. One, we're going to say add the 10s first. This one, we're going to say make a 10 first, because that's what we did here. We decomposed so that we can make the next 10. So we're going to put this into practice. Um, we're going to start with this one. It says solve using a number bond and add a 10 first. So here we've decomposed the 14 to be 10 and 4. And now we're going to add that 17 and 10, and that's where we're going to get 27. 
And then we're going to take that 27 and we're going to add in the final 4 that we've left off. And 27 plus 4 gives us 31. And quite frankly, I got that by counting on. I just said 27 and then I counted uh, 28, 29, 30, 31. And that's how I got it. I used counting on, but some students might decompose that 4 some students might decompose the 4 to be 3 and 1, so 20, 27 plus 3 is 30, plus the remaining 1 gives us 31. So you have a little bit of choice down here. Again, practicing that adding 10s first, so we're going to decompose 17 to get 10 and 7. So 19 plus 10 gives us 29. Now we're going to take that 29 we're going to add in the remaining 7 that we still have sitting out there. Now, I'm, I am going to decompose this to 1 and 6 because I see that 29 plus 1 gives me 30, plus the extra 6 gives me 36. And again, parents and teachers, this little decomposition, that's optional for students to actually write it out. We do want them to think about it, that 29 plus 1 more is 30 plus the extra 6 is 36, or they might know that 9 plus 7 is 16, and then add in the 20. There's some choice there, so this last little detail is kind of up to the student. Now here, we're going to continue using a number bond, but this time we're going to use a make a 10 first. Now for some reason, they decomposed the 18. We could have just as easily decomposed the 19. But they're thinking about that 19, and we need one more to get 20. So that's why they decomposed 18 to be 17 plus 1. So 19 plus 1 gives us 20. And we're going to take that 20 and add in the remaining 17 that we haven't quite finished off. And that answer is 37. Students might be able to do that mentally. Others. Some students might need to decompose that 17 to 10 and 7. 20 plus 10 is 30, plus the remaining 7 gives us 37. One more practice here, since we're adding two 19s, we have our choice, don't we? And they, for whatever reason, decompose the first 19. Would have been cool if they decomposed the second 19, just to be a little bit different from this guy, but that's okay. Uh, so 19 plus 1 gives us 20. So we're going to put 19 plus 1, that gives us 20. We're going to take that 20. So I'm going to take that 20 and I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to add in the remaining 18 that we haven't quite added in yet. And 20 plus 18 gives us 38. And that's that final answer. So, parents and teachers, that was Lesson 26, Grade 1, Module 4, where we're not using standard algorithms. We are adding two two-digit numbers, but we're using uh, strategies that involve number sense rather than just following this standard algorithm because at this point we're trying to get students to understand the numbers involved rather than just blindly follow a rule.